morning everyone a third time lucky at trying to film this journal this morning every time I sit down to do it either the door goes or the cat starts playing with the frog outside and that's screaming his head off so I'm in and out rushing after them hopefully third time lucky uh, what to share to you today my um, another design team project for Artie Mays using her um, ferns and mushrooms kit I recently did another video with this but I printed so much off um, a kit is really really big I had quite a lot left over so much so I've managed to make a traveller size notebook um, with two signatures um, I think there's 52 pages front to back and um, I've just put a little fern trim on the spine uh, it has a fabric cover which I've made from um, I recently picked up this little remnant piece from a shop near me and it's lovely it's got mushrooms on which caught my eye and little woodland creatures like owls, hares, hedgehogs, squirrels, deer, it's lovely um, but it was the mushrooms I think that caught my eye and then when I knew there was a mushroom kit available I thought I've got to use it on something. Um, it's got a simple twine closure because I want to keep it very simple and rustic because um, I always think woodland sort of is more rustic in my mind I've uh, just got a little mushroom which I've fussy cutted out um, and just put some cheesecloth underneath to layer it up a bit. Um, this is the first signature. Um, front cover is just a, a little more of that fabric I've made into a little pocket with um, collage and that fern trim. A couple of journaling tags in the front. Um, one of the papers from the kit and I think this is actually one of my favourite papers out of it. It's just so pretty. Um, another little footy cutting and this is from the Junk in the Trunk series that I, um, Andrea shared which I absolutely love. Still not in frame am I? Professional as ever. A um, couple of journaling cards and I've just done a little bit of mushroom stamping. Um, I recently picked up this little mushroom stamp and I love it. <laughs> More journaling card. And a little pocket. A little booklet in, a couple of journaling cards. All the cards and everything are out of, from the kit because, like I said, you, it is very, very large. I'm really not in frame here, am I? Hopefully, that'll be okay. A little bit of washi, uh, plenty of blank spaces for writing a journal, whatever you use in your journal. Um, this is a page from a little nature book I recently picked up on my travels. Um, actually, this paper is Femmer's Vintage Garden. I think it was from one of her spring kits. But I just thought it went pretty well with this journal. Um, some more mushroom stamping. More journaling cards. Um, Centre of the first signature. And more of that wildlife book. A little flip out. Yeah, I'm still filming. It's been a nightmare this to film today. Uh, plenty of places for writing, you know, whatever you use your journals for. Another one of these little pockets which I've fussy cutted a mushroom. And the background um, paper is also from the kit. Put some little tags in, journaling cards. I love these, they're a really good way of using up your little scraps because I'm mad me, I keep all my corrugated card and sort of getting it a bit out of hand so I really need to start using stuff. A little ticket which I've used as a tuck spot for a journaling card. I've made a little envelope where I've just simply collaged some um, cheesecloth, a little bit more of that fern trim, decoupage a little napkin, stamping little quote from Edith Holden um, and inside there's several journaling cards which you can always add more to, there's plenty of room in this envelope I can never get things back in properly another little flip out with um, a little burlap pocket some little tight teeny journaling cards and tickets a bit more stamping 
Uh, the start of the second signatures, another of these beautiful mushroom images. Um, I have recently noticed walking to work, I've actually seen some mushrooms coming up, so it's getting towards that time of year where you start spotting them. They always make me think of autumn. Um, a little flip out from, this is from the book that I've recently picked up, a um, little mushroom book on my travels. Another little book page, stamping. Um, here I've just put some um, spare journaling papers in. And this, I don't know if the camera's picked it up, it's like a very, very pale green. Um, really got into eco dyeing them up and trying to dye my papers. Um, I had a pile of sage and bay, which I sort of boiled up together in a pan. Um, and I did my papers in, I, tell I added a few um, green tea bags in it as well. And it's quite a very, very subtle shade of green. It's quite pretty green. It's not in your face green. It's, I'd say it was like a very, oh, like, a, like a sage green really, <laughs> which is ironic as I've used sage to dye it. But I really like how they turned out. Um, an eco dyed paper from my friend Diana. Another little tuck spot with um, a ticket that's just been sewn on with some card, burlap and cheesecloth. Some more writing space. Another little flip out. And this is some more eco printed paper. It's also one of Artie Mazes. I've used this lately in so many journals. It's um, just versatile. It goes with everything. Little journaling card. More writing space. More of that eco paper from Diana. Um, I don't think, yeah, I think this is one of them papers that I actually coloured with my sage um, eco dye. Another little mushroom stamp. Um, another little nature book page. Um, here's just a little pocket which I've trimmed up uh, with a little bit of burlap cheesecloth. This little vine trim, put a couple of um, journaling cards in. I've really enjoyed working with this kit and now I'm starting on something else. I still plan to use a little bit more of it in. I'm starting on a, a woodland themed one um, and it will come in useful with that as well. Um, this is a flip out page, little ticket, tag, more journaling card flips out to sort of cover up what you're writing. Uh, the very last page now is just, I've just done a little pocket which I've um, layered up using some of this. I think somebody sent me this, but I just love the colours on it. It looks so earthy and autumn-y. Um, I've used that. A couple of journaling tags. And all the background is um, from the Ferns and Mushrooms kit, which is absolutely delightful. Um, and that's the full journal. Like I said, it's a traveller's notebook. Um, I've already listed it in, put it in my Etsy store, so it is for sale if anybody's interested. And we've got another lovely day here in the UK. So, like I said, I've really got into my dying lately. I'll just give you a quick flip of what I did yesterday. Um, these I did with onion skins. I've been saving my onion skins for ages now. I've just been saving them every time I've cut and thrown them in a brown paper bag. And I was really surprised with the colour it turned out. I was expecting it to be sort of more brown like tea or a coffee because I use yellow onions. Um, I thought it would be more like a coffee sort of tea stain and I didn't really think it. But I'm really, really impressed it's come out with this lovely, lovely shade of like terracotta. Um, and I'm saving this, all these bits for some autumn journals I want to start working on. And there are just a few little bits and pieces I did yesterday. Um, just some trims but I just thought for autumn coming up now um but I've really got into this dying so I'm going today I'm heading out shopping this afternoon I'm going to get some beetroot I want to try some beets um red cabbage but while the weather's been lovely it's just been nice to get out so just little bits of cheesecloth and stuff that I've dyed so quite keen to get started on autumn journals for some reason now um i know we're only in july but and a little bit of seam binding which i did but 
Um, honestly, it, I, I've just really gone mad on this eco dyeing, and it's just lovely to try something else. Right, anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching. I uh, hope you all enjoy your day. Talk soon. Bye.